Hello, hello, everybody. I am right now recording when it is absolutely pouring rain outside in Portland, Oregon. The weather has changed so quickly and abruptly that it's almost like shocking. Rain, such rain and wind. So I hope wherever you are, you are warm and safe. And I am here wanting to ask you a question. What do you do or what would you do if someone asked you or told you to pick up and leave and go forward, go to somewhere that you have never been before, leaving everything you know and are familiar with behind? That is what is happening in the story in the biblical story of Abraham, as God tells him, Lech lecha me'artzecha u'mimoladetcha. Go forth from your land, from your father's land, from your homeland, to the place that I will show you. And astonishingly, there is no argument. There is no questioning. Like, where are we going? What's the weather there? You know, do, will I have enough things that I could live on? None of that. Abraham picks up and goes. So I'm reflecting on that in our own life. And I want, invite you to reflect along with me. When or was there a time in your life when you were told, and when I say you were told, it not necessarily by other people or by even the source or God, but somewhere inside of you, you knew that you had to move to a new place to get a new start. I remember that it happened to me several times in my life. The earliest time that I want to share today is when I came to America. I knew in my heart that I wanted to come. And it didn't start right after my army service, which many people know that story that, you know, I met my husband on an apple picking machine while I was 18 years old. And then when I was 21, he sent me a plane ticket and I came to a place that I don't know, a place where I knew only one human being. And that place was the entire United States. I did not know anybody that lived in America before I came and where I knew only one person and that's Bob. But even earlier than that, when I was in ninth grade, I knew that one day I would live in America because I remember at that time, I used to clean houses of two older women and with the money that they gave me, I saved and I asked my dad to go to the bank and replace it with dollars. I was 14 years old. And when my dad said, why? I said, because one day I'm going to live in America and one day I will need dollars. So I knew in my heart that I need to go forth, to go forward. So contemplate in your life, when was a time that you had to go forth? Sometimes it was your own intuition. Sometimes it was a decision that maybe was made by other people. Sometimes it was out of necessity. Leaving your job change in family status, leaving your state, your country, going to a new place that you don't know anyone. So I would love to hear your stories about living, about doing what in the Bible says, lech lecha, go forward for yourself. That's what it actually means. Go for yourself. What does that mean to you? Go 
forward for yourself. And what would you take with you? What have you taken with you if you did that? Go for yourself before. If you knew you had to leave today all of what you are familiar with, and I told you that you have to take only three things with you, what would you take? I came here with one suitcase my entire life. I know I was only 21, but still, one suitcase. So when we think about that, perhaps I want to invite you to think not about tangible things you can take with you, which maybe will be pictures of loved ones, some kind of a meaningful object, but maybe attributes and qualities that you want to take with you as you go forth for yourself. What would it be? I know that in my life, trust was something I have taken with me more than once, more than twice. Trust in the unknown. When Abraham was told, go forth, lech lecha, he did not know where he's going to go. When we, when I started my business, I did not know where it's going to go. Apply it in your own life. How do you use trust to give you this? The word that comes to my mind is equanimity. That what you have to do will happen and for you to remain calm while balancing all of what is in front of you. So trust is one thing that an attribute that I will invite you to consider as you go into that which is unknown. The other thing is courage. We, those who have shifted and did elech lecha from a place that they knew, good or bad, to an unknown, had to have courage within themselves. And maybe the overarching concept is a reason. Ask yourself, why do you need to move forward or go to a place that you don't know? Why? What will you achieve there that you can't achieve here in this junction in your life? Abraham had a reason. There is stories that talk about how he could not buy in to what his father was doing, a, an idol worshiper. He knew that that did not line up with his own mission, with his, within his own purpose. So what is your mission? And how going forward, forth, will accomplish that mission for yourself. And of course, last but not least, definitely not least, is loving the idea of going forward, going forth for yourself, loving that idea. If Abraham didn't love the idea of going forward, he wouldn't have. If I didn't love the idea of becoming a speaker and a positive intelligence coach and a train and a trainee and a, and a and a facilitator and a presenter that has to do with teaching people and coaching leaders to overcome challenges so they will create the biggest impact for themselves whatever that may be if I didn't love that I wouldn't be going forward. I wouldn't be going forward to even to the unknown. So what do you love about going 
forward and not staying where you are right now. And let me tell you something else. We all go forward. So what is it for you, the love that you have that nourishes the trust and gives gas <laughs> and fuel to the courage that you need in order to make this happen for you. And here's what I wanted to tell you. It, there's a secret. <laughs> we all go forward. You don't think you go forward, but every day you live, you actually go forward. The question is, A, do, you, do we realize that? And do we do it consciously? Do we do it understanding that life is going forward? And where do we find ourselves? And are we happy and satisfied with our progress of moving forward? Whatever that may be. Today was not the same as yesterday. And tomorrow will be different than today. We will be wiser, older, more experienced. With a few more wrinkles. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> so this talk, this recording is for you to nourish and sit with that idea of going forward for yourself, of doing a personal lech lecha going into the unknown and yet having the trust, cultivating the love and the reason for why you want to be in that unknown place somewhere in the future and then doing it courageously every day, one leg before the other. What is it? Bill Gates said that we overestimate what we can do in a day, but underestimate what we can do in a year. Truth, absolutely. So measure your steps. I know you can. Each and every one of us can be a leader in our own life. Each and every one of us can go forward into the unknown. And the things that are needed, three things. The will, the need, and the skills. So today, I hope I inspired, motivated you to contemplate on that and maybe move one step closer to the unknown. May you have a terrific rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Doris Horenstein. Always love to be here and spending a few moments with you. Thank you, everybody. Bye.